Once upon a time, there was a boy named Andy who loved toys. The particular toy he loved was a cowboy doll named Woody. Andy played with him and loved him, and they would live happily ever after. Until his mom gave him Buzz Lightyear, who thinks he's a real space ranger. But really, he's just a toy. Woody then became really jealous that Buzz became Andy's new favorite toy, so he pushes him out of the window so Andy would play with him more. But things didn't work out like it should for the cowboy doll, and Buzz, Woody, and some green alien somehow ended up in some evil kid's house. So now, it's up to Woody and Buzz to get back to Andy's before Andy and his family moves house. But Buzz lost all hope as he found out that he was a toy after all. Sid then decides to blow up Buzz with a rocket, but Woody comes up with a plan with the help of Sid's toys. Woody then breaks the rules and scares Sid asking him to take care of his toys. Woody and Buzz then escapes and find their way back to Andy's car, and they live happily ever after. Or until the next movie, of course. Once upon a time, there was a cowboy doll named Woody, who was supposed to go to cowboy camp with his owner Andy. But unfortunately, his arm was accidentally ripped by Andy. Woody then tries to rescue a squeaky penguin toy from a yard sale, but somehow got kidnapped by a greedy toy collector. Woody made friends with a cowgirl named Jessie, a horse named Bullseye, and a prospector. He found out that he and the Roundup gang are about to be shipped to Japan at a toy museum. But for some reason, Woody's arm ripped off entirely. So the toy collector brought in an old cleaner to fix Woody, making him look ship shaped Meanwhile, Buzz, Rex, Ham, Potato Head, and Slinky went out to rescue Woody. But they somehow ended up in a toy shop, where they switched to Buzz unknowingly. The fake Buzz and the gang found Woody at the toy collector's apartment. But the real Buzz comes back. Woody then decides to go back to Andy's, before asking Jesse and Bullseye to come with him. But the prospector decides to show his true colors and ruins the plan. While a battle between good and evil occurs, the real Buzz and the gang then follow the toy collector to an airport and found Woody, Jesse, and Bullseye. But something bad happened, so Woody had to rescue Jesse from a plane. But all in all, things turned out fine for everyone. The prospector got an owner, all the toys got home, and Andy got new toys. So everyone lived happily ever after. On to the next movie, of course. Once upon a time, there was a teenager named Andy who was ready to go to college. He wanted to take his favorite toy Woody with him and decided to put the rest of his toys in the attic. Unfortunately, Andy's mom mistook the toys as trash, so she placed them in front of a garbage can. The toys escaped from the back, thinking they were supposed to be thrown away, so Jesse suggested to go to Sunnyside Daycare. When the toys arrived at Sunnyside, they were welcomed by a pink bear named Lotso and were taken to the caterpillar room. Woody then leaves for Andy, but was found by a little girl named Bonnie instead. After a day of being tortured by the younger kids, Buzz decides to speak to Lotso about moving the toys to the butterfly room. But Lotso showed his true colors and denied his request, and he reset up Buzz to make him think he was a real space ranger again. When Lotso and his gang came back to the caterpillar room, Lotso caged up all of Andy's toys, making sure they do not leave Sunnyside. Back at Bonnie's house, Woody realized that his friends were in danger and decides to rescue them. Woody and the toys came up with an escape plan to escape Sunnyside through the garbage chute. Later that night, the toys succeeded in escaping with a partially fixed bus. But when they reached the garbage chute, Lotso arrives and ruins the plan, which resulted in all the toys including Lotso to be tossed into the garbage truck. At the dump, Buzz somehow becomes completely back to normal, while Rex finally saw daylight. Except it wasn't daylight, it was fire! Lotso manages to escape, but the others weren't so lucky and the toys stared at the fire in horror, until the green aliens used the claw to save them. The toys made it back to Andy's, but Andy decides to give away his toys to Bonnie. Andy had one last playtime with the toys before waving goodbye to them. An old story ends, while a new one begins, and they all lived happily ever after. Or until the next movie, of course. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Bonnie, who was just starting to go to kindergarten. On her first day there, she got real nervous, but Woody gave her a spork, and she made a toy out of it and named it Forky. Forky then became her favorite toy. But Forky didn't understand what it meant to be a toy and believed he was supposed to be in the trash. While on a road trip, Forky decides to jump off the RV to find a trash can, so Woody had to follow him to get him back. Woody then explains to Forky the importance of a toy, resulting in Forky finally understanding. On their way back to the RV, Woody saw an old antique store with a lamp that Bo Peep used to sit on. 
Woody and Forky entered the store, only to realize that Bo wasn't even there. And even worse, a doll named Gabby Gabby saw Woody's voice box and wanted it for herself. Woody and Forky tried to escape, but Gabby took Forky. Woody ended up on the playground and was happily reunited with Bo Peep, and they decided to rescue Forky together. Back at the RV, Buzz decides to jump out of the van to save Woody, but somehow got stuck at a prize stand and met Ducky and Buddy, and the three of them left and found Woody with Bo Peep, so they all decided to save Forky together, along with one more person, Canada's greatest stuntman, Duke Kaboom. Meanwhile, Bonnie's family were about to leave without Woody, Buzz, and Forky, so Jesse punctured the RV's tire, delaying time. At the antique store, the plan failed. The toys escaped, but Forky was still left behind. Everyone gives up, except for Woody. Bo left while Buzz went back to the RV. Woody then decides to exchange his voice box for Forky, so Gabby can be loved as a toy. Bo returns and they all try to make it back to the RV but Gabby sees a lost girl and decides to be her toy. When Woody and the gang reached the RV, Woody found it hard to say goodbye to them, especially Bo Peep. So Buzz decided to let Woody stay with Bo Peep, letting Woody be free and to become a lost toy. Woody says his goodbyes to all of Bonnie's toys and leaves off with Bo Peep, Duke, Ducky, and Bunny. And everyone lived happily ever after. The toy story ends here, but they will live in our hearts for infinity and beyond.